Just hold on, Isaac. Just hold on. I'm right here. I'm about to start playing once again. Just let me get myself settled. I needed to stretch and everything. And hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Oxfu. And you know what? You know what? Reading your mind first. No! 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 Venus Lighthouse was attacked by strange wanderers. I'm dead. I, f I faded out. That means I'm dead. <laughs> That's what it always means. Baby soldiers are all colossal victors. How could anyone beat all of us? Who are they? Oh man, he beat all of you. I could barely beat three of you in a row. Oh, how could they attack me, Skulls? Those barbarians. Eh, eh, you knew he was calling because I gave him a Skulls voice. They are already headed for Baby Lighthouse. Wait. Why would they head for Bobby Lighthouse? Venus Lighthouse is right here. They yield him. Be happy. The entrance to Venus Lighthouse is open. After years of study, our dreams have at last come true. I'm not happy because you guys are dying right all around me. Uh, if only I could move. The lighthouse is open at last, but at what cost? Maybe I could crawl over to it. How did they open the door to Venus Lighthouse? For some reason, I don't have an injured voice. I've waited so long to see what it's like inside Venus Lighthouse, but I can't even move without feeling terrible, terrible pain. Oh, don't even read my mind. It's terrible. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Venus Lighthouse. Oh, hey. G Graydon told them to stop, but they attacked anyway. Attacking scholars. How vicious. Kraden hadn't been there, we surely would have been killed. I like these statues. I like these statues. I don't know what it is, but just that sort of... Is it... Audrey Hepburn? One of the Hepburns, just that kind of Hepburn style hair. I just really like it on women, just because I think it looks cool. Uh, anyway. Great and went inside, but they came back and said this isn't the entrance. But we searched the last and there's no other entrance. Oh, what, what? What do you mean this isn't the entrance? Do you mean we do have to go to Bobby Lighthouse anyway? Oh, what a twist. What a twist. No, that's not a twist. That's called plot. <laughs> that's called plot. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, they kick you, too, in, in those miniskirts. Gare must have liked that. Alright, let's see. No, 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 wish well. What's the story, wishbone? The words carved into the relief. If ye seek to climb Venus Lighthouse, first seek the power within. To obtain this power, see with the eyes of truth. Then the way shall open. But the path I reveal is not the beginning. The true beginning lies down ancient pathways on distant soils. Uh, what's 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 the Irish word for uh oh for friend? Uh, is it's this word that I can't remember from the from the movie or the book. Huh, speak friend and open. I get it. Huh. Anyway, carry stone. This is what we need. Basically, this stone allows us to use the Synergy Carry, which is like an upgraded catch, which is pretty cool. Yeah, let's we'll switch for that. And we'll equip it. Yeah! Um, we can't actually do anything with it right now, I don't think. We gotta actually get through the other side of the lighthouse, but... Damn it! I like puzzles like those, that they're right in front of you, but you don't notice them. But it's gonna, we're going to be using it on blocks like that, so. For right now... Ooh, is there a... No, there's no hidden door over there. For right now, I think we are done with this part of the lighthouse. There might be one thing that we can do. And it's either he in here or through the other door. Aha, this is the other thing we could do. Check the chest. Get a lucky cap. Oh, the lucky cap. This is actually... So it boosts critical hits, and it restores PP. Um... Uh, 
Um, it's got. It's either going to Mia or it's going to Isaac. For right now, I'm gonna give it to Mia. But it's probably gonna go to Isaac because Mia's not gonna end up using just regular attacks as much. I mean, I could also give it to Garrett, but Isaac's gonna be getting the most powerful weapon in the game with the most powerful critical hit. Because he's the main character. I mean, that's not a spoiler. <laughs> he's the main character. Of course he's gonna get the most powerful weapon in the game. Um, or at least you think. Like, I... Like, it's hard to point at, um, some games and be like, oh, well, that's not my... He's a main character, and he didn't... He's not a main character, and he didn't get the most powerful weapon in the game. Isaac's different. Like, I could point at, like, Final Fantasy games and be like, oh, well, the most powerful character... Or, the most powerful weapon in that game doesn't go to the main character. A lot of Final Fantasy games, though, there are multiple main characters. This game has a silent protagonist. If you were by being silent they imply that he is supposed to be sort of your uh, your avatar um, your way of interacting with the world um, that he is essentially you in the game that he does he does not have a thought he acts out your thoughts um, well this is what I was thinking and by that extension even though, Garrett, Ivan, and Mia are all main characters. Isaac is the most main character. And this goes beyond stuff like, oh, in Final Fantasy VI, you could argue that for the first half of the game, the most main character is Terra, because everything revolves around Terra. And then for the second half of the game, who the hell knows? You start out with Celis, and you could argue that it's Celis's is the most main character, but you could argue that a lot of people are the most main character, because a lot of people are doing things for different reasons. In Final Fantasy IX, you could argue that both, um... Tail fell in there. <laughs> oh my god, because of, um, Splitable Infinitive's, uh, Final Fantasy IX game at Let's Play, I can't even think of his name now. You could argue that, uh, Monkey Tail there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember his name. Um, he's the most main character because you start out as him and it follows him, but you could also argue that G Garnet is the most main character because most of the story revolves around her. But they are not silent protagonists. They are not the... They are not... The... They are not f acting out the the player's whims. Like even though it follows a set storyline, you could say that it's the same as a choose-your-own-adventure book, as opposed to a novel. Or you could you could you could say that yeah, it's it's basically not exactly, but um. No, you could argue that it's a first-person narrative rather than a third-person narrative. That a third-person narrative, you have multiple, you can have multiple main characters, but one will be ultimately more important. Whereas a first-person narrative, you will have, you can have multiple characters, but one will be more important because they're actually telling the story. Okay, enough about theory with this game and other RPGs because Isaac is silent, even though I think it's really cool. I thought I'd explore after the door opened, while I was searching this room, Graydon and the others appeared. They did something to that statue that made the floor light up. That's it? You gonna tell us more? I wonder what mystery is the statue holds. Graydon said the statue indicated the true path, but how? And... I don't know, because it has... more of the emphasis on the main character being the player. It is much more different than any other RPG that I know. Again, RPGs with a set storyline, like MMORPGs, are very different because the main character is, by nature, the player. Uh, Fable is very is a, lot, a very similar to this because the the way the character 
grows per se is based on the on the player's whims, but it still has a storyline. Very open-ended Western RPGs are nothing like this because they're 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 just completely open. There's no there's no cohesive storyline. Um, essentially, it's the difference between oh, free will as a player and telling a story. And yes, you can do both. Like I still think like Mar I still think like the Elder Scroll games do a good job of telling a story while while um maintaining freedom at least for Morrowind and some of the sub stories sub stories of Oblivion I've not played enough Skyrim because I hate that game um to actually know <laughs> Ooh what's this What's this I want to read that Why can I not read that No seriously why can I not read this do I have to reveal? Oh, okay, I can reveal. That's good enough, I guess. Alright, just get rid of these guys. Just get rid of them. I don't know why I couldn't read. Oh, you know why. Ye who speak to seek to climb Venus Lighthouse, I shall grant thy wish! The path long closed shall not be opened here! The path begins far away, far away, on the soil of an ancient people! With the sunrise to your left as you gaze upon the lighthouse! Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we did our little thing with the... with the... with the statue, so... That actually opens up the way to the, uh, the lighthouse, as we can see... Right here, right here, right there. I don't remember what's up with the, uh... blue guys, but... The little blue gl glowing gems, but the whatever. Why can't I read you? That's such BS. But yeah, basically we do a full circuit around, and we come back here, and we're like, oh, now we can push that statue onto that button, deactivate that electrical field, and be like, oh, hey, this is just a big circle. <laughs> All right. I think I've talked enough about, um, again, theory with narration in this game. Oh, I love this. It's like something out of a Bomberman game. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having way too much fun with this right now. But I hope you guys like that little nugget of insight. Um... Again, I think this this game does that does narration very well. I don't think that the second game does narration as well because the protagonists are fully voiced. And I believe Isaac actually gets a voice at that point too, which is very disappointing. Oh my god, level 24, Paragon's Glacier. Fuck yeah. I don't say that F word much. But, um, Mia has finally learned a useful move. <laughs> oh, man, that's actually going to make a difference. So, anyway. Oh, now that we're done with that, I will see you guys next time, for real. <laughs> Did I say next time? Yeah. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mioxfu. Take it easy, and I hope you enjoyed that.